brother has obtained the lands of Shu. Now he'll be able to stand on equal footing with Cao Cao and Sun Quan. I think this calls for a drink. But we can't just sit and celebrate. Guan Yu has taken some troops from Jing in an effort to attack Fawn Castle in Xiangyang. Normally, we'd have nothing to fear. But this time, Cao Cao and Sun Quan have joined forces against us. I must use my strength to help brother. Zheng Fei, the situation is very serious. Protecting Fawn Castle is none other than Cao Ren. With his strong defense, this should be a tough battle even for Guan Yu. Fearful of Guan Yu, Wei formed an alliance with Wu. They have dispatched many capable officers, such as Lu Meng and Lu Xun to Jing. If they join together to try and trap him, the land of Jing and Guan Yu himself are vital to Liu Bei realizing his dreams for the land. Zhang Fei, it is up to you to go and save them from this predicament. They're planning a water attack. They'll do it soon. Blast! I'm coming, brother! Just hold on! We made it! Now, where are those fellows from Wu? We'll flood Fawn Castle with a water attack. Hold the front. Keep strict watch over the floodgates. <laughs> Think you could overcome this place? I'm through playing. supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. I'm through playing! I shall teach I'm you the basics of strategy. Yeah. 
end. That's another one down! The river's gonna overflow any second now! Waters of war, rush forth to devour Fawn Castle! <laughs> Now's our chance! All units advance on Fawn Castle! Defend this castle if it's the last thing I do. I'm through playing. Don't underestimate me. You must hold on. Damn, it's over already. That's another one down! My ambitions left unfulfilled. That's another one down! My duty is to defend this castle. Therefore, I will have to destroy you. I applaud your bravery. You wild beast. My strength will put a stop to you. Bring it on, then. I'd like to see you try. I'm through playing. Spirit left to take care of you. My tomb. That's another one down. These boats are our path to glory. Charge! The end is near. Here I am, everyone. Shu Huang has arrived! Prepare 
to attack! Follow me! Fly like the wind! This battle is ours! It's time to see what you are made of! you could break through our forces? Alas, is this how the warrior's path is to end? That's another one down! We have a chance to win this. You your life so highly. Another one down. Thon Castle has fallen to our forces. We overcame the courage of Kao Ren and the wisdom of Lu Meng. I must thank all of you for your hard work. Brother is in charge of defending Shu while I have been placed in charge of Jin. If we can combine our efforts, the unification of the land is within sight. Now is the time for us to create a world ruled by virtue. A new this bu- It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhang Fei, from the land of Zhuo, a powerful warrior said to be a match for 10,000 men. He was also known to have a strong sense of justice. A lover of wine, he often became very violent when drinking. Zhang Fei would later meet Liu Bei and Guan Yu during the Yellow Turban Rebellion. 
The three warriors swore an oath of brotherhood amidst a grove of blossoming peach trees and agreed to put an end to the chaos together. Despite not having a land to call their own, Zhang Fei supported Liu Bei in all of his campaigns. In 208 AD, at the Battle of Changban, it was Zhang Fei who rescued Liu Bei from danger. Fighting as the rear guard, he successfully frightened off Cao Cao's troops by giving a powerful shout, allowing Liu Bei and his people to escape to safety. After overcoming many arduous battles, Liu Bei was finally able to establish his kingdom of Shu. Zhang Fei was then appointed as one of the five tiger generals, thereby solidifying his position as one of the mightiest warriors in the land. The chaos continues throughout the three kingdoms. However, Zhang Fei will not rest until he has achieved what he and his brothers swore at the Peach Garden. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. to get started. Bring him on! I, Zhang Fei, will crush all those that stand in my way! 